But by the time we reach the um, 80s and Reagan and so forth and so on, it was very clear that what young people had been able to do in the past, drop out of school in the ninth grade and get a job making enough money to buy a car, to raise a family, to get married, that that wasn't happening. And so we began to have the drift into a drug economy and the drug economy leading to a massive incarceration and a prison industrial complex and that whole sequence of events while people like Coleman Young, who were black leaders who were running the government, had the vaguest notion what to do. And finally, by 1988, proposed that what we needed was a casino industry to take the place of the auto industry. And that's when we began to understand how profound this crisis was, because we fought him on the casino gambling thing, and he challenged us. He said, you're, you're just a bunch of naysayers. What is your alternative? So Jimmy made a speech called Rebuilding Detroit, an Alternative to Casino Gambling, and began talking about how we have to think in terms of a more local economy, how we have to begin growing our own food, baking our own bread, and doing things to restore a, a concept of usefulness and productivity to our people at the same time beginning to address questions like the energy crisis. I mean, the, the idea of a local economy today with a climate crisis makes a lot more sense to people. But you had to begin to see all these new contradictions that were emerging out of the, out of the steady development of capitalism toward globalization.